Hello there, long time no see. Welcome back to Math Experta. Many students ask me to explain the off number proof form in English, and uh, many students say also, "Where's number five of the old exam from Karlsruhe?" So here we go. Before we draw such a function, you see here we have a <coughs> a fraction. 2x minus 2 over x plus 1. We need to extract information so we need to sketch. And the easiest one is the so called Nullstelle. It's the point where the function intercepts x axis. So it's a x intercept. And what you need to do is just set your fx equal to zero. It means the whole expression here is equal to zero. So it's zero is equal to 2x minus 2 and x <coughs> is equal to 1. So at x equal to 1, your graph will intercept the x-axis okay is it clear number two <coughs> we want to find the y-intercept it means you set your x to zero so it's simply two times zero minus two over 0 plus 1 and it's minus 2 over 1 it's minus 2 <clears throat> that's the second information the third one is how your graph behave if x goes to infinity so the trick here, divide everything by x, okay? So, nominator and denominator, here also divided by, by x. <coughs> and it's equal to minus 2 over x over 1 plus 1 over x and the limit of this whole expression is like this and it's simply 2 minus 0 over 1 plus 0 it's 2 <clears throat> same thing we do for x goes to minus infinity so we can just see our expression here just change the limit with minus infinity and it's also zero here it's also two <clears throat> The next thing we need to consider is where is the asymptote of this function? What's the domain of this function? What kind of x value is forbidden in this case? 
you cannot put minus one in the denominator because it will make things undefined so um, you are not allowed to have zero in the denominator it means you're not allowed to put x equal to minus one so in this case at x equal to minus one we have sine total so the next thing we need to consider is how your graph behaves slightly left and next to your asymptote point slightly left and next so i would say at um, minus one minus and minus one plus or my left to your minus one and uh, on the right side of your minus one <clears throat> So um, let me write once again the function. So what I mean with left to your minus one is for example, um, this value. Okay. <clears throat> it's left to your minus one okay if you put this value to your denominator what happened you will have doesn't matter what uh, above here stand you will have here a very small value and it's negative <clears throat> and here on the nominator you will have also a negative but something divided by a very small number so your graph will explode to the infinity okay and now right to your minus one <clears throat> if we put for example minus 0 0.999 example like this what happens to your function still you have up here a negative expression and here also you will have a very small number and it's positive So your graph will fall towards minus infinity. <clears throat> okay. Last one, but not least, is the maximum or minimum. Make the first derivative of your function, and it's um, you know the division uh, rule, right? Division rule is um, u. If you have u divided by v, and it's it's like this. So let's see. Um, if this is u, then the first derivative is 2 times x plus 1 minus the derivative of this denominator is 1.
<coughs> divided by uh, x plus 1 square equal to 0. So um, we'll have So you see it's a wrong statement for equal to zero. <clears throat> Here you can see that this uh, function has no local maximum or minimum. Now we can try to scratch our function with all the data we have. So you remember the x-intercept here is 1, y-intercept is minus 2, x goes, to, uh, goes towards infinity and your y goes towards 2, your x goes minus infinity and your y goes towards 2. Yeah, with all this data, we can try to sketch everything. So here is uh, minus 1, uh, sorry, 1, x-intercept, and here is minus 2 y-intercept and here is your limit and at minus 1 here you have a asymptote right to your minus 1 here right to your minus 1 your graph falls down to infinity to minus infinity so um, make a scratch like this and it goes towards 2 if x goes to infinity make a scratch like this how can you combine all these two all these uh, blue lines and dots and it's not a straight line of course it's, it could go like this Yeah. Now left to your minus one. It's positive infinity. Make a scratch like this. And if x minus infinity, your graph goes towards two. Now the question is it like this or like this? Of course, it couldn't be possible, the down one here, it goes towards 2. Okay, so you can use all your extracted data to sketch your function. I'll give you homework now. Try to draw x plus 1. over x squared minus 1. If you like my video, you can comment, share, and like. It will be very appreciated and I'll make more videos for you to make sure you go past your Aufnahmeprüfung in Germany. See you again. Bye.